Good morning, my moon babies. Today we are on La Ao Po. So today, the last day before our Ole Moon start, La Aos are really good for planting things that you want to grow tall and very strong wooded. Not a good day for planting fruit and seed bearing plants since that's the opposite of woody tall plants. Any mending of partnerships, affiliations, and ventures will find support today. So that is your moon girl talk for the morning. I'm home. Hilo and I are gonna go. Hilo! He's looking at those pretty girl dogs over there. I wanted to. Let's fix the hair a little bit. I don't even know if that's better. I wanted to just show you guys a little bit about. Um, I'm getting my oils together to. Because I'm gonna go on a trip to Oahu. I'm going to Oahu for um, like 10 days. Two days are for a residential for my graduate program that I'm gonna be doing. And then uh, there's another conference on the 9th and the 10th that I was going to stay for and it's my birthday week so I figured I would just stay since it's a free flight anyway this is like my essential oil carrying kit that I like to take when I go home and stuff and I'm having the hardest time trying to like narrow oh god trying to like narrow down that's even worse it's okay you guys know I just woke up trying to just narrow down who I want to take home is like narrowing down which of my children I love the most like Melaleuca which is the tea tree that's like one of my favorites for antiviral antibacterial Peppermint always helps me with like um, headaches, nausea, just like kind of like sickness, like flu season kind um, symptoms because notice that lately I've been feeling kind of a little bit sick, which is also another awesome thing. I've noticed since I started using essential oils, I haven't gotten sick. I've been using them for, I would say, um, a little bit, like a, around a year. Yeah. And I haven't gotten sick in about a year. And it's seriously like total 360, 180, 180 or 360. Yeah. Total 180 because i used to get sick all the time all the time i just had a really bad immune system so it's seriously crazy now that i haven't gotten sick in a year um oh lavender that's like my favorite you know for the calming soothing and i'm honestly kind of anxious for this first residential that we have just because we haven't met all of the people in our cohort yet just the big island ones i don't know i just am nervous i haven't i don't know Lavender. Oh, eucalyptus for like breathing stuff. Just because I really, I'm like anticipating getting sick when I go home. I feel like um, whenever I experience that change in climate from home to, from here to Oahu, even though it's only an island away, I don't care what you guys say. It's still totally a different climate and environment. So I kind of do get sick when I go home. And then frankincense is super good too for its immune system properties and auto, um, I mean, antiviral antibacterial kind of stuff so that's a good one and this one's also pretty calming i do like that about it i need to stop being so crazy okay he wants to go play i'm like getting kind of hungry we've just been chilling this morning um gonna go take him to run around at this park that we always go to he knows exactly what i'm saying yeah big boy yeah yeah he it's my best friend y'all you guys first day of the oles hang in there <laughs> driving miss daisy driving miss Lindsay. seriously like look at all these dogs normally we have nalu kiala's other dog too but today we just decided we're gonna go on a new hike we've never been on before i don't know what to expect he knows a handful on his own so we're gonna take Nalu out somewhere else probably a little bit later. Oh, the koalas are so beautiful. Ooh, look at Auntie Day. Unreal. 
squad. off the cliff right now. <laughs> Why are you I'm like this? How the heck do you get out of here? She says. <laughs> in here that was like so beautiful so nice in the morning Nui say hi so now we're gonna go back home go water and feed the dogs and then head on out to North Shore except Kiala has to go to work after so we won't see her again till later <laughs> to put the actual like location and like how to get to the places that we go to all the time just because obviously if there are people that don't once and for all this is my problem with people that are not from the place that are not from the place that they're going to go explore is that they don't know the rule not the rules but they don't know the norms of the people that do live in the area there's like a specific balance you know to everything and when there's too many people that go, there's more dogs that go, there's more poop, there's more people that don't know. But look at Nui, he just wants to be a part of this so bad. <laughs> but there's a balance to everything. And when, you know, like tourists and stuff visit places like these, they don't know how to act. They don't know how to, okay, not all, obviously, but a lot of times they don't know that, like, 
littering is bad. <laughs> that like couple like last time I went there was a diaper. Somebody left a yeah. diaper with their baby shit inside. Exactly. And I was just like, um, this is no. Like that's just so you know, it's not just disrespectful, it's it's unsanitary. And it's like that's it's just gross and it's rude to the Aina and to the people that visit there and the people that you know, people like Kayla and her Ohana, her dog Ohana that go there frequently, they are, you know, the Kama Aina, the Kama of this Aina, this particular Aina. And if people just come, that's why I don't like to go places unless, if I've never been there, I always go with somebody that has frequented there, that is from that area, because they know the norms of that place. They know what it takes to keep that balance. So that's my problem. It's not that I don't like tourists. It's not that I don't like anybody that's not Hawaiian. It's not that I'm racist. It's just a lot of times people that are not from that area don't know the cultural or the environmental norms, the cultural norms, don't know exactly how to malama that aina as best as the people of that aina do. So that's my take on that. Oh, there's like cops everywhere on Oahu. It's crazy. Today, guys, secured the bag. Mm -hmm.